See, you and I have an opportunity on this earth to be able to rescue people from hell. The Bible says, and if some have compassion, making a difference, and others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire. And listen to me, I'm not trying to mock you. I'm not trying to belittle you. I'm not trying to uh, make you feel bad. But if we took this mic around and we had you stand up and you gave us your reason why you can't go soul winning, why you can't preach the gospel, and you gave us the best reason, you don't understand, Pastor. I got to work. You don't understand, Pastor. I'm kind of shy. You don't understand, Pastor. Saturday's when I do my gardening. You don't understand, Pastor. I'm just so busy. I'm just, listen to me, there's coming a day when all those excuses will be stupid they'll be dumb you'll sit there in heaven wishing you could go down to hell and rescue them but yet you and I have that opportunity right now and week after week after week we make excuses well I'm just shy well I'm just not prepared well I'm just not ready well I just can't well I got I'm too busy Okay, why would you preach a sermon like this? Because maybe you can get a vision to an unseen world after this life. And people die and go to hell. I'm busy too. I'm tired too. I'm shy too. I've got reasons why I wouldn't want to go too. But you know what in heaven? In heaven, we'll all wish we did more. In heaven, We'll all wish, we'll all wish we had a soul winning seminar we could watch and learn how to preach the gospel properly. We'll all wish we could go out of, out of church that had a Thursday night soul winning meeting or a Saturday morning soul winning meeting or a Sunday afternoon soul winning meeting or, or had a church with some staff people in it that would go soul winning with you. Did you know that we have staff people in this church that go soul winning literally every day? And they'll go with you whenever you want. But you're too busy. But you're too important or you're too shy, or you're too fearful, or you're too afraid, or whatever your little excuse is, and I'm not trying to irritate you or upset you, I'm just telling you, in heaven, that excuse will be dumb. And in heaven, all of us will wish that we could be a soul winner. But by then, it's too late. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Richard Sides with my weekly missionary update from June 25th to July 1st. I've officially been in the Philippines for one year now, and it's hard to believe that I haven't been to the U.S. or seen This week, um, there were 70 salvations. I was able to witness to approximately 670 people. I preached in three high schools and one college. Hello everyone, this is Richard here with my missionary update from June 18th to uh, June 24th. We had 100 salvations. We preached the gospel to 880 people this week. We preached in six different schools. Uh, here in the Philippines, I got to preach in five high schools, uh, 61 salvations. I reached 920 people with the gospel, 95 salvations over the past two weeks, um, over 705 people that were witnessed to, and 35 salvations. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Um, I personally counted 66 salvations and 430 people that heard the gospel. There were 60 people saved this week and 226 people that heard the gospel. And I preached in four high schools. Uh, we shared the gospel in eight different elementary schools. Um, we preached the gospel in seven elementary schools. Everyone, hello. I preached the gospel in three high schools this week. I witnessed to over 540 people. I counted 35 salvations. I was able to preach the gospel in five high schools over the stretch of the week. There were 28 salvations and 350 people that heard the gospel. 42 salvations. Uh, we had 77 salvations. 111 salvations and 1,560 people that got to hear the gospel this week. We had 41 salvations. We tallied 59 salvations. Uh, Corbin and I shared the the gospel with over 740 people this week and we saw about 50 salvations. We preached in four high schools in Davao City and on Samoa Island. I've got the, uh, the yearly totals. This is for a rolling year. Um, we had 2,492 salvations. We preached the gospel to 18,827 people. And the people are just so open to the gospel. I would highly recommend uh, just people coming and witnessing for itself to see how receptive people are to the gospel in the Philippines.
No stop that. Ye. It means you. Couple. Alright. Ye means you.